Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. And today is Micro Monday. So let's get started. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and take my micros out this time. I have all 10 of them here. This is from My Modern Homestead, Weekly Budgets. These are freebies in my Ko-Fi shop, Weekly Budgets, Julie Pages, and so forth. So it's all Weekly Budgets, My Modern Homestead, mine, and then Julie's Pages. All right, so I have all 10 of them here. I have my $30. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. And let's go ahead and spice this up a bit. All right. And let's go. I hope everyone is doing well. I am exhausted and I don't know why, but you know, we're here. Such is life. That is a six, seven. Ooh, spicy. One, ten. But yeah, happy Monday. Happy beginning of a new week. I know we are getting closer and closer every day to going back to work and i'm like no <laughs> oh it's a nine last one four oh number three didn't get anything okay so let's go ahead and clean this up it was a lot easier this time having it in having it in the um on the table all right so for the first one it got two dollars and again this is from julie's pages so we will mark a two here i love 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 these micros for the quick wins Right. There we go. Oh, let's just pop that back in there. Okay. Then in the is this number nine? Ooh, number nine got lots of money today. It got five, six, seven, eight. So this challenge is almost done. There's a two, four, six, and eight. And I remember somebody telling me that I messed up on one of these challenges. So I will find, I had a few people <laughs> tell me that I wrote the wrong number. So I'm sure I will find that soon. It's hard because when you're doing this, um, I guess, well, for me, it's live for you. Obviously, you're watching the recording, but... It's a little bit challenging to write and think and count and all of those things all at the same time. Because doing this and just, you know, doing it is different than filming yourself doing it. So it is not uncommon for us to make lots of errors. <laughs> all right. So this one got six dollars. Awesome. Oh, and I did finally go see this movie. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not, but I did take myself on a day date to go see this movie. If I remember, I'll insert a picture because I had a super cute stitch shirt on. Um, two, four, six. I almost forgot to write that down. So yeah, definitely recommend um, going to go see In Inside Out too. It was really good. I don't think it's necessarily for like younger kids. It's definitely more of like a middle school teenager kid movie. Although it's animated, I don't think the younger kids would necessarily get it. <laughs> 
because it's it's following the girl through adolescence. So I feel like it's definitely wonderful for like middle school, high school, those kinds of things. I'm not sure about like, you know, four or five year olds. Like I, I don't, I mean, other than it just being cute, I don't think that it would really have any meaning on them for real, but I don't know. Um, so anyway, I only need one more for this one. I just want to make sure this is right though. So two, four, six, eight, ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Cause I was like, I start talking and then I forgot to write down what I got. So yeah, but it was, it was good. Um, and it was nice to just go. I like to just go by myself. And, you know, one person commented and was like, I would have went with you. And I'm like, no, like it wasn't, it's not pity. <laughs> like I have lots of people that would like to do lots of things with me, but sometimes I just like to go eat by myself or to a movie by myself or, you know, like I just, I like to, I call it take myself out on dates. Um, the goal for this year was to do that once a month. I have not been successful in that goal, but it is something that I'm trying to be more intentional about moving forward. So Julie's plans got two, Julie's pages, sorry. Julie's pages got two. There is actually a Julie's plans as well. <laughs> That's a planner channel. All right. I love those little flip flops. I don't think I've worn flip-flops like all, well, no, I guess I have like one time for nails. Like, I haven't really been wearing flip-flops lately. Oh, this one. I see. I see it. Definitely should be a two. I don't know what I was thinking. Two and two. Although I could have just kept that four. Uh, oh, well. I could have just kept that four there and then just used this as a four. <laughs> That's okay. Apparently, I was just writing the envelope number on there. I don't know. That's crazy. I don't even know where a four could have come from. All right. And then this one did not get anything today. This one got $2 as well. So a friend of mine did an activity with his daughter where they actually took the inside out character and made it themselves, like made themselves the characters. And so he was just like, well, what would your characters look like? And I'm like, oh, this is hard. But I sat down and I like drew them and I realized, well, A, I mean, I've already known, but I'm not an artist. <laughs> but B, it was difficult for me to... I guess, draw without putting in like, you know, clues of things. So, you know, for sadness, I put like no Starbucks, <laughs> but it was easier for me to put like things that make me feel a certain kind of way versus um, drawing myself looking that way, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, definitely something to think about if you have time, you know, try it out. Try to draw yourself in different emotions or what makes you feel those different emotions because it was definitely a really good exercise. Like, it was cool. And just to sit down and think about, like, what does trigger anxiety or fear or depression or, you know, rage or envy or, like, what, what are some of the things in life that trigger those things for you? Um, and so it was, it was really cool to just kind of sit down and think about it. Cause it's not obviously something that I actively think about. Um, but yeah, it was cool. So I challenge you guys to sit down and just, you know, draw it out, write it out. It doesn't have to be a drawing, but just, you know, what triggers those things so that when those things come up, you can give the feeling a name, you know, anxiety. I feel you. I hear you. Let me work on getting rid of you, you know? So I just, I thought that was really cool and something that I was like, dang, like I, it was hard. It was hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard for me to even think like that, <laughs> to even, you know, do it. It took me probably about 45 minutes to even just put something on paper. Um, but I, I like the activity and I'm happy that, you know, I did it. So anyway, take some time for self-reflection this week. 
um, as the summer is kind of winding down. I know if you're a parent and you have your babies at home, like, <laughs> trust me, okay? Trust me. I know the struggle. <laughs> Because always remember that you only have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever kids. But yeah, I get to deal with 20, 22. So trust me, I know the struggle. Um, but definitely take some time to check in mentally, emotionally, physically. Take that time to check in. So anywho, that is the end of Micro Mondays and my TED Talk. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are absolutely amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.